Uh, hello, my name is Amel. Before I begin, I apologize my English because it's not very perfect. And I need to read my presentation from the sheet. I would like to say that my presentation will be different from the others because the aspect treated in these slides uh, is the aspect of the harvesting metadata process that comes after publications process. This project, which is a research project, is aimed for service providers whose goal is to offer their users, always scientists, uh, documentalists, etc., a portal through which they can find documents they are looking for. So access publications on different data repository distributed everywhere. <coughs> In this presentation, I will expose a problem related to metadata harvesting process that is based on OE, uh, OIA PMH technology. To understand the idea of the project, I will begin my presentation with a small general introduction. <coughs> Which, uh, which one? I'm not sure, but we can do that. Okay, thank you. As we know, digital libraries, call it DL, are an organized collection of digital content which aims to make cultural, audiovisual, and scientific heritage accessible to all. A key sector of DL is scientific information that presents science, scientific write, writing. During the last decade, with the birth of open access movement and emergence of open archives, those promoting rapid and open access to the results of scientific research to global community, scientific community. So free access is a means of providing uh, a restricted access via the internet to journal articles, thesis, etc. But since server Servers' numbers of deposit and dissemination of the scientific production has increased. This growth gives new opportunities as it allows the use of distributed metadata to create new network services. But this multiplication of deposit service servers induces the need to federate the search for information through the various member sites. This different Digital libraries are based on different technologies, platform, protocol, and architecture, depending on their different objectives and how they work. Because of the, because that quality of metadata affects the interoperability of collecting of collection and the quality of all processing and harvesting of this metadata. The factor creates an imminent problem in the field of interoperation between these DLs. To deal with this problem, several organizations that had an interest in, interoper in interoperability between DLs have come together to develop solutions that ensure uh, interoperability. The most important solutions is metadata collection technology based on the o, uh, OOI PMH protocol, which is a simple and open protocol based on HTTP and XML, asynchrony, uh, permit asynchrony, asynchronous pooling of several bases, and it is easy to implement. To understand how this uh, architecture works, OAV PMH defined two types of actors, data providers, DP, who deposit their metadata and on a web server called a repository, and service providers who collect or harvest this metadata to integrate them to the index of their own data uh, digital libraries and makes them available to their customers. So OAPMH defines the language by which DP and SP communicate. It is true that it is true that OAPMH is a simple and open protocol that offers great freedom of applications, regardless of software and platform, and a great simple, uh, simplicity of implementation. 
But we can notice that the problem lies in these three points. The number of DPs, oh, data providers, repositories, and the data they contain never stop increasing. There is also the factor of network connectivity characteristic of each data provider. The third part, point is that OIPMH harvesters harvest metadata on sequential, sequential way. All of this induces that process of harvesting metadata is made more complex by requiring greater harvest time and metadata processing capacity, which raises performance issues. <coughs> <coughs> to solve this problem, a more efficient solution based on the use of new technology is, look to, is to look for. The grid computing architecture are environments on which the implementation of solution induces a very high level of performance. What is grid computing? Grid computing is a group of computers physically connected over the network or with internet to perform dedicated tasks together. Grids are a form of super, of super virtual computing that solves particular applications. A computing grid is constructed with the help of grid middleware software that allows them to communicate. Middleware is used to translate one node information pass it stored or processed information to another into a recognized format. It is the form of distributing computer. So the objective of the work we have done was to offer a model of harvesting metadata based on the OAE parameter protocol in a large scale environment using grid architecture and with better performance than the classic OAE parameter model by implementing a solution that combines computing grid technology with that of the OAE PMH technology to try to increase harvest performance by optimizing harvesting time and processing metadata. We have worked on the use of grid te technology by proposing a network architecture which consists of these main layers presented by the following pictures. Picture. Data layer component of heterogeneous and distributed DLs that provide OIPMH compliant, compliant metadata for service providers. Application layer is portal through which service provider submits its request after authentication. Grid layer provides services of harvesting and indexing metadata. In this architecture, when the grid layer receives requests from the application la layer, it, dis it, dis it distributes it on different available node nodes on the grid. This load and index the metadata that responds to the user's request from the data layer. The grid layer uh, is responsible for the execution, uh, execution of metadata harvesting. Mm -hmm. It aims to improve the performance of the metadata harvesting process by enabling parallel harvesting to metadata that supports different harvesting way. We propose the parallel harvesting to a number of OIE URL repositories and the parallel harvesting by sets and the combination, the combining of the two first ways. Mainly, this layer is composed for, from uh, harvesting nodes and the harvest planning services of OIE PMH compliant metadata. The harvesting nodes are nodes of the grid whose number is not static. It, it consists of computing element and with their uh, com uh, compu compute nodes, which is uh, element from the grid. Concurrently run the metadata harvesting per program for a number of OIE URLs repositories independently. The harvest planning services of OIE PMH compliant metadata initiate the task of metadata harvesting, keep track of the harvesting task of the harvesting nodes and dynamically allocate and distribute the harvesting load to the different harvesting node. To validate the implemented system, we performed a series of experimentation. The objective was to compare the sequential execution or the classic execution of the harvest 
of the harvester on a single machine and parallel execution following our approach using the grid. For our tests, we, uh, we use uh, OIE open uh, OI URLs open access from the Open Archive Initiative and PKP OHS Harvester as a harvester program. We performed a local run first, uh, so following the classic, uh, following the classic, uh, the classic harvest, and then on the grid with several variants. We did some test benches to demonstrate the execution of the system. And we used three, uh, we used, uh, in this example, we used three open access repository URLs just to explain. In the first test bench, we test a sequential or classical execution of harvesting OI URLs <coughs> repository by harvesting uh, numbers of records containing in uh, each uh, uh, URL OIE <coughs> archive. In the first uh, test, uh, the total in this test, we, we, the total harvest time is the sum times of each harve uh, repository harvested. In the second test bench, we use the grid to, to, to uh, perform a parallel execution of harvesting The for harvesting the same uh, OIA repositories. Mm -hmm. the, ex the execution was done on three free nodes of the grid for 300 jobs. In this case, uh, the, harvest, the total harvest time is the time of the longest harvest. In the third and the fourth test bench, we have increased the level of parallelism by harvesting by sets. In the third bench, we performed a parallel execution of harvesting uh, OI repositories by sets, combined to sequential execution of harvesting uh, number of OI repositories in the same time. The execution was done on, three, on 10 free nodes. The jobs and tendered are uh, 100 jobs, then 31 jobs, then 30 jobs sequently which represent the, the number sets of each OIA repository. The number of records per second varies according to the size of the sets. In this case, the total, uh, the total harvest time is the sum of the different harvest repository. In the fourth test bench, we perform a parallel execution of harvesting OIE repository pay sets, combining to parallel execution of OIE repositories. In this case, the execution was done in, three, in 10 free nodes also, but 161 jobs were tendered simultaneously. The time of the, uh, the harvest, the total harvest time in this case, is the, uh, the time of the longest harvest. According to these different test benches, the following table gives a general summary of, this, of the results obtained. It clearly appears an improvement in metadata harvesting time on parallel execution according to our approach compared to sequential or classic execution. Also, by comparing uh, test bench 3 and test bench 1, we find that sequential harvesting combined to parallel by harvesting by sets gives better results than sequential harvesting without sets of all different OIE uh, archives records. We can deduce that if the number of grid nodes approaches number of jobs, execution will time will decrease significantly. In view of this result, it appears that distributing harvesting throughout several nodes is advantageous, especially for archives with a large number of records, which requiring a significant uh, harvesting time. To conclude, in this world, we have tried to prove that high performance for a harvesting service on a large set of that digital libraries can be achieved by using grid technology and parallel harvesting techniques. 
we successfully implement a preliminary version, version with allo which allows parallelization by sets, which gives better performance and flexibility of the harvesting execution mode according to different cases that we had evaluate according to the available resources and the number of sets to three. Thank you. <laughs>